Oh, what a silly dog. We go, because that's how she talks. Arr, 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 arr. I sometimes think about getting. A this dog. is my rock from Steve's house. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> oh, we stayed over there. It was fantastic. We got to see the stars last night out here in the desert. Which I obviously couldn't record because you can't get stars on a phone camera. Not with my skills. We don't have night vision cell phones yet. Yeah, he's right. He's loading up the truck. We're going to go, I think, back to the National Park to ride our bikes for a while before our friends wake up. But Steve was fantastic. So Steve is the man that we met at the blanket shop. He was their employee there while the owners are away looking for more blankets. And we got to talking and he was a nice guy. And then we needed a place to chill out while Royce and Cassie did their thing. And so we went into the back employee hangout section. He let us back there. So we got to hang out back there for a while. I'm gonna flip this around. So we hung out in the back employee area for a while and just talked to him, chill, and it was so much fun. He was such a great guy. And then we were like, well, we don't really know where to stay tonight. You know, we, we were thinking about getting a hotel because it's, um, we just needed a place to like recoup after last night, the night before, freezing our butts off in our tents. None of us having enough blankets. Me and Keaton wanting a different air mattress instead of two separate ones that made it really uncomfortable. So just this whole array of things made us desire a nice, warm, cozy place to stay and to take a shower and get all this ooh, deserty sands off of us. And Steve said, I might have a place for you. You know, like here, get my number and then I'll hit you up whenever I get off, which was like in 20 to 30 minutes. So he gets off work and he comes out and he's like, well, I live 35 miles from town in the middle of the desert and you can see the stars. And I actually have a house out here that I rent out for when family and stuff needs to come and stay. And it hasn't been cleaned since the last people that were here, but if you don't mind, you can stay there. This is the place. It is not a bad place. And there's a king size bed, which we never get to sleep in because we have a queen. And so us and all three pups really enjoyed Steve's hospitality. Oh goodness, my clumsiness. Let me turn this around again. Yeah. So I mean, it was just fantastic. And it gets so cold here at night, we just slept with that little fan on and it worked out great. King size bed, me. <laughs> now let's see, out here's the patio which we did not hang out on. I stepped out there this morning and it was so bright it made me sneeze a lot. But it just, that was kind of the experience that we didn't even know we needed. Just to stay at a local's house, essentially. <laughs> Royce and Cassie went and got a hotel. We had actually got this for them. We got this nice house for them to stay at and we didn't mind sleeping in the truck. But they wanted to get a hotel with a nice bathtub. And so what they don't know is that this time we feel like we got the presidential suite. And he rents this place out for $500 a month. It is about to be occupied. But he said it's free for the month of May. Not free to stay, but it's available for the month of May. Let's see, see out there. Just so beautiful. And so I am kind of thinking... I'd like to come stay here for the month of May. It's going to be hot. But I was like, what if I fix up the place? You know, and then you get to rent it out to people for more money. <laughs> so I don't know. That's a conversation for another day. But this has been fantastic. Man, like if we had had it my way, we would have been halfway to the Grand Canyon by now. And would not have got to just have this wonderful experience. And we met a new friend and we made him dinner. Well, Keaton made him dinner and... And me, Royce, and Cassie sat around because it was a small kitchen. But still, like he was he was super grateful to us for that. And we were super grateful for the company. And our energies matched really well. And him and Keaton and Royce all had good jokes. And they were bantering back and forth. It just, it's really rare to find people that 
we connect with on that level. And Steve was that guy for us. Steve was our little miracle in the desert. <laughs> and it was a blast. Oh, it was so wonderful. And I'm so grateful. Now we're going to go find somewhere to ride our dirt bikes and just hit the trails for a little bit and then get on the road and head maybe to the Grand Canyon, maybe somewhere else. Who knows? Check in later. A wonderful, wonderful evening. <laughs> We met, we met a really nice guy named Steve. Steve saved us. We were at the blanket store trying to unwind from too much input. And uh, he brought us out to this wonderful deserted place. Nothing but stars and sky and mountains and moonlight. And a 90-year-old bed that was so soft. <laughs> I slept so good. I don't need sleep for two more days now. Which is good. You get to drive for the next two days, nonstop. No problem. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> west is where we're going. Let's take the desert. <laughs> Compass says west. Anyways. We're going east. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways. We're not going farther west. Right, right, right. <laughs> super grateful. We're going to go ahead and pick up our, uh, our brother and sister and um, continue our adventure. There we go.